Well, and speaking of animation, have you ever heard of Bluey? Heard of, yes. Seen, no. Well, because why would you? You don't have kids. Yeah, my kid's know? grown and... Yeah. Now, I haven't either. But for some reason, Facebook is absolutely convinced that I'm an adult Bluey fan and I know all of the memes <laughs> and I want desperately to join a page because like every fifth post is something Bluey. Really? Yes. I don't know if it's because my demographic tends to be people with kids around the age that uh-huh. would be watching Bluey Clock's in this ticking. area. Happy birthday. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but the most I've ever seen was when I was working in clinical research. We'd have t- we had TVs in the rooms to keep people occupied because okay. you have to be there for a long time. And like sometimes the kids would put on Bluey and I'd see like a scene or two max. I do love it when I visit like, I don't know, friends at Thanksgiving that have younger kids Mm -hmm. because they've always got like stuff I've never heard of before on. Right. Like, uh, okay. Um, And this was a few years, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, The Mickey Mouse Club was on, Mm -hmm. but it was the new animated one. Yeah. With the theme song, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Yes. And the kid's eyes just got so big and started (laughs) swaying and singing to it. (laughs) And I was like, this song is amazing. (laughs) Right. And so I rewound it, which they loved, (laughs) and and played it again. I'm like, okay, that come to find out it's They Might Be Giants. One of my favorite bands of all time. They also do the Malcolm in the Middle theme. Yes. One of my favorite songs, The Sun is a Mass of Incandescent Gas. Mm -hmm. They do that. Uh, the the uh, 1990 album Flood is amazing. Right. But there's never a reason for me to put that stuff on. Yeah. Should we watch some Bluey? I kind of think we should. I will say one time <laughs> when I caught one scene, I noticed that the mom, so the mom dog had just gotten back from a run and she had an iPad strapped to her arm. And the little display on it was the Pink Floyd album, but it was a bone instead of a prism. Oh, wow. Which that was when I was like, oh. That's kind of funny. Uh A reference just for parents. Right, right. And that's the thing. I love kids shows that make, that are made for parents to enjoy watching instead of being annoyed by. Like, I've I've never watched Caillou outside of maybe like a handful of Uh, times when I was a kid. Kill me now. But every, every adult Uh who has ever seen Caillou wants to kill that little bald shithead. (laughs) (laughs) The the family guy send off a send up of Caillou is amazing. Right. Right. The, the, uh, the Castrato Canadian (laughs) father, they just, they need to, yeah. Yeah. That, that kid just bugs. And why is he bald? Right. Right. (laughs) Yeah. I wonder if he had like baby cancer or something. (laughs) Oh, now come on. Hey, here's the thing. He's in remission, so it's fine. (laughs) But he had baby cancer, lost all his hair. And that's why he's such a little shit because his parents let him get away with everything. Right. Because he's, yeah, because he could always play the, hey, I'm going to die soon card. Right. Right. Or even the, well, aren't you glad I didn't die? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. They're just so grateful he's alive that they just let him wreak havoc and be a little turd. Aren't you grateful to have one more day with me? Right. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I think that's the only reason that Caillou is still alive. Because, yeah. Thank you. Um, He is a cancer. Yes. I mean, let's take it all the way down the road. (laughs) The nice thing is we're we're riffing. (laughs) We are not talking about a real kid. So it's okay. (laughs) No, we're not. Yeah. We're talking about the shitty writers behind the show. (laughs) Right. Shockingly, they took this animated show and they turned it into a stage play. That's oh. like now touring, and it just came to the Frontier Center last week. Yeah. I wonder what that's like. I wonder what that looks like. Right. I saw some stills. It looks like they're mainly like big puppets. And how weird would it be if like we went as just two adults with no kids? I know. <laughs> I well, you have thought a, about it. You have a niece and nephew we could take. That's true. That's true. Would they be into that? Are they oh, too old? As a matter of fact, my brother took them. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Did they like it? Oh, they loved it. Okay. Dude, every kid loves Bluey. Every kid I've ever talked to about Bluey is like, oh, I love Bluey. It's so fun. Da, da, da. Let's yeah. watch it. I think I, I know to. it's your birthday. Can we just have it on? <laughs> you know what? Do you want to watch? Yeah. A little let's. after dinner. Uh... It sounds fun. <laughs> it sounds cute. And you know, okay, like, I really love We're going to go to a Spud Kings <laughs> hockey game. Yeah. <laughs> let's live a well balanced life and watch some Bluey. <laughs> I think so. Well, like, one of my favorite series recently was Centaur World. Which was probably oh, made yeah. for like 12 to 13 year olds somewhere uh, there. But like, it's all these dumb, goofy songs. It's a weird story. It's got a neat plot, you know. Um, but I just liked how dumb and goofy it was. I can definitely see people in our age category going, 
the don't have mm-hmm. kids going, that's dumb. I'm not watching that. Right. But you know what? That's how you turn into a crotchety old person. It is. It so is. So I'm going to, you know, the, those kids, mm-hmm. they keep you young. Right. Those, those kids and their Pac-Man video games and their mm-hmm. Depeche Mode records. <laughs> well, yeah. And you know what? That's the thing. Like, my life is stressful. You know, I've got a lot of, I, I've got a lot of stuff going on. I have a pretty, I have a couple of pretty demanding careers, you know? I think you're right. I, I would agree with your escapism theory. Yeah. I think it's genuinely just that people want something that feels somewhat comforting, you know, that isn't too harsh, but is still interesting to watch. And I mean, like, here's the thing. I love the boys, but it's kind of hard to walk away from that feeling okay, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. It challenges you. <laughs> it does. It does. And again, it's sort of that balance. But I wonder if, if there is something to that. You know, mm-hmm. if you listen to too much talk radio right. in, instead of pop music like you used to, they say that men stop consuming new music around the age of 38. Wow. And I still listen to my buddy Brad station now 105.1 because mm-hmm. they don't play that many commercials and they play the new stuff. Right. It's like only new music. Mm-hmm. And in fact, is that their positioning statement? But mm-hmm. I don't know if there's just something that kind of keeps you young when you consume, I don't know, bubble gum. Yeah, youthful items. Emotional, mental bubble gum. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so I think I would almost say, I'm no therapist, but I would say this seems like a healthy way to escape. And also, I've noticed a lot more adults that just play video games, and they're not always like the Call of Duty or like Halo type video games that are really um, intense. There are lots of people who like Minecraft and stuff now, and they just play that uh, pretty chronically. Yeah, I did have an older friend say that his doctor recommended mm-hmm. that he play find something and play it. You know, League of Legends or some like right. a strategy game kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You know, just to keep his mind sharp. Like I said, the only gaming console I have in my house is a Nintendo Switch. And actually, that's not true. I also have my old Nintendo 64. You have an N64. Which I love so much. Do you have GoldenEye? I do. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to come over and play, you can come on over and play. I just might. Yeah. 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 You know what? You can play my 64 while I play my Switch. Perfect. My my Switch. And that'll be a nice little birthday for me. And we'll put Bluey on in the background. I love it. That's perfect. (laughs)